y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, and I'm your girl, Milan Garcon. Now, I know the channel's been very morbid. I've been being very honest about my emotions and things like that, and kind of the stage of my life that I'm in right now, which is like ever changing. I don't really know how to describe it. I would probably describe it as like the transition, no shade. Like I'm going from my 20s to my 30s. Like for those that don't know, I'm 29. I was born in 94. My birthday is coming up this Sunday and I will no longer be in my 20 something. So I'm just like, for you know my mindset to start to shift into a place where things are being done and, and my thoughts and my ideas and my goals and my actions are all being done with more intention I think that that is really what kind of changes your life like when you start to move with intent like I always say I always have to have a purpose in whatever I'm doing but now like I feel like that is evolving into intentionally moving towards that purpose and intentionally making sure that that purpose is the center of all things that I am doing, which right now it is not. I am in a very destructive phase of my life right now. I feel like I am self-sabotaging everything and I know that it's true. I know that I've, I've gone through a lot of things this year alone that have changed me forever. We're taking our moonshot and it's a fresh vial, so you know. Uh, and it's been two weeks. So last time I did a, I did a, I did a full syringe, a, a, a one milliliter. I want to do a little bit less than that because I just feel like I may have been over moaning a bit. But either way, let's get into this moan shot for today. I just feel like I'm at a point where I'm just at my wit's end. I feel like I'm definitely the lowest I've ever been. And when I say that, I mean like mentally, emotionally, physically. I I feel and look amazing. <laughs> I really do, don't I? On the inside, I feel so empty. Ugh. And it's like such a lonely feeling because people don't look at me and see that. People look at me and they see an inspiration, a motivation while I'm over here not inspired or motivated to even get out of the bed. Like it took me two hours to get out of my bed this morning. I just got back from Atlanta. I was there for about a week and it was really nice to kind of just like get away. But I didn't have the best time and that's, only because I'm just not okay. I had two major breakdowns and one happened while I was out. So I had to like rush out of the club with my sister and well, the bar with my sister and just kind of um, go home and let it all out and get myself together. And um, I missed out on doing something very important this weekend that I was excited to do. It was a booking actually. And um, I kind of think part of that was self-sabotage and two, I was having a panic attack and I knew better than to overextend myself because I was already drained. Um, but yeah, I got home and now I'm just kind of trying hard not to beat up on myself about it because I know I'm mentally not okay. I'm also trying to keep my spirits up because my birthday is this weekend. Like I am extremely hurt. I am extremely like depleted. I am so disassociated from life right now. It's not funny. At the same time, I'm very in tune with everything that's going on with me and and it's allowing me to keep going, but I'm not pour, I'm I'm just steadily pouring into other people so that they don't see what's happening with me. And I also don't know how to pour into myself right now. So it's just like rather than just sitting and being balled up in a corner, it's like let's give the last of what I got to everybody else. And I don't really know what that means, but we're going to take this moan shot, so yeah, that's that's just where we are right now in life, and it will get better. I'm trying to find out when my better is gonna get. <laughs> I know everything is gonna get better with time. Um, I kind of was vulnerable this weekend with a few of my house members, and you know they've been reaching out, make sure I'm okay, and things like that. So it kind of feels good to feel like people, not not the sympathy. The the sympathy is not what I'm looking for. Um, empathy is definitely something that I'm looking for. It's something that I didn't get that much as a child. But, um, and I think that's why I don't look for empathy in people. I don't require that in my friends. I don't require that in my relationships because I don't really know what it feels like. Like, it's like, how how can I want something I never had or how can I miss something that was, that like, I was never really exposed to. It kind of feels nice to just have people see me 
like 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 see me like not see what I present, but like perceive perceive me as I am like right now. Like it's okay to be like, girl, we're gonna go out, or girl, you know, we're gonna have a good time, or you know, you look great. But like it's nice when the people that you're around kind of just know what you're going through and love you and don't treat you any different. They don't they don't pacify like don't pacify me. Just see me. Just see me and know that like got to make sure my girl all right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I am with other people. It's been nice to kind of receive that. And and I, I'm going to make that a requirement for my relationships, no matter what they are, no matter if they're romantic, platonic, familial, um, friendship. It, like, it just doesn't matter. Like, empathy, like, you have to come with empathy. Like, if you don't have that, like, that's something that I need. And I know the light that I have and the positivity that I have and, and, and what I love to give to other people, they need that. And I love giving it, but in return, like I'm as I'm getting older, and this is a part of, I guess, turning 30, I'm realizing that in my friendships, something that I need, in my relationships, something that I need, for my family, something that I need is empathy and understanding. So thank you all for watching. It's been real, it's been fun. Turn on the notifications. Turn on those notifications. Um every everything is happening in due time. Step by step. Yes, I gotta play that album by Whitney. Day by day. Yes. Um, but either way, you all, it's been real, it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. I have to catch you in my next one. Stay safe and stay dangerous.